Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. People wishing to become British citizens must answer 24 questions about what the current government considers to be important about Britain. But what does the public think is typical British? Roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Gravy. Girls wearing shaska in the cold weather. And a cup of tea. The test is supported by nationalist parties, including the UK Independence Party. UKIP's MEP Gerard Batten welcomes the idea of this test. According to him, it should include knowledge of the English language and history, as well as the state structure and the legal system. However, he thinks it seems unfair to expect new citizens to know anything about, for instance, Lord Nelson, when even British school children know little about him. Migrants must score at least 75% to pass. We put people to the test. Who is the patron saint of Scotland? Is it St Andrew, St David, St George or St Patrick? It's St Andrew. St. Andrew. What is the name of the Admiral who died in the sea battle of 1805? And there's monument in Trafalgar Square, Nelson. Nelson. The second largest party in the House of Commons is usually known by what name? That's the opposition. I hope we did OK. However, organisations such as the Migrant Rights Network say the test misses the point. What's important for migrants to know, it's, it's how do you access public services, how the health service works, for example, which, which is it's different in this country to, to, to other uh, um, countries. You could still make the point that maybe a test is not the way to get migrants to know about it. But if you're going to have a test, then perhaps it's best to have that sort of issues addressed by the test than the culture and history. For the meantime, it would appear that everybody just needs to learn who this is. Pauline Den Hartog-Jager, City News International.